Hello, this is Gio. Hey, look what I have here. I have two brand new Xfinity cable boxes and I'm gonna show you how to install these today. So I picked these two up today because one of my old cable boxes wasn't working properly and so I figured I'd just uh, replace both of them since they were kind of getting old. Uh, these units are basically identical to my old ones except that they're a little upgraded. Uh, my old ones were the XID-C version. These are the XID-P versions. So basically the exterior uh, of them pretty much looks identical to my old version. And what Xfinity uh, gives you in the package is of course the cable box itself. Uh, a new remote, um, the uh, HDMI cable, some documentation, and of course, the power plug. The only real difference I see so far is the remote. The old uh, remote was the XR-11 voice activated remote. This is the XR-15 voice acted, uh, activated remote, and it's just slightly different, but basically all the buttons look like they're in a similar location. So converting from one to the other should uh, should be pretty easy. And so just looking at the new unit, this is actually the front. It's basically the plain part of it. It does have a power on off button right here, which is kind of hard to see, but it's right there. And the back of it, uh, you have your power supply goes right here. The HDMI plug that goes to your TV plugs in right here. And so the other end will plug into your TV input HDMI. And then you have two coaxial connections, one cable in. Now this is the cable, the, the line that comes into your house uh, from either your modem or just the exterior of your house that carries your cable signal. And then your cable out, if you have, let's say an older TV or let's say a VCR or another device that can uh, bring in the signal after it's been converted with your box, so this, this would go to, to that. So you connect that to perhaps a VCR or an old television connection that uses the coaxial connection. Okay, so we're at my TV here and we have the cable box here and we have these three lines. So the first line is the actual coaxial cable that carries the Comcast Xfinity signal into my home uh, and this comes right into my wall and this is the end that will connect to the cable box here. I went ahead and plugged in the power supply to the receptacle. So this, uh, the other end of this wire is to the power receptacle. And so this is the power. And this is the HDMI cable that is currently connected to my TV. So this is the back of my TV and you can see I have several HDMI cables. Uh, this currently is the one that I'm gonna be connecting into the cable box. It is. Uh, yeah, my TV, HDMI 2, but it really depends uh, if you only have one HDMI connection, you'll just have uh, perhaps HDMI 1. I have several, so I can kind of select which one I pick. But this cable box will be connected to HDMI 2 in my setup. Okay, so I'm just going to start with coaxial cable. And again, there is the uh, cable in and cable out. I want the cable in. So basically the cable signal is coming into the box. So I'll go ahead and screw that in. And just try to get it as tight as possible, as far down. If, if the connection is poor, your reception will be poor. Okay, so next I'm just gonna stick in my HDMI cable, which is right here. Uh, it only goes in one way, so just go ahead and plug that in. And then lastly, I'll put in the power supply. Okay, for the initial setup, you'll need your, your Xfinity remote and also your TV remote. Uh, if you're used to controlling your TV with your universal Xfinity remote, the initial setup, you will need to dig up your original remote to your TV so you could set uh, the, the, the cable and the TV up. Okay, so you first wanna use your uh, TV remote to turn on your TV, and you wanna select the input to the selection you uh, plugged in your HDMI cable to. In my case, it's HDMI 2, 
Unfortunately, my TV has a menu based. Uh, many remotes have an input button. You can just select the input. Mine is a menu based system. And so I will go ahead and uh, scroll through my menu base to select the HDMI 2 off camera and come back. Uh, but at the same time, you want to turn on your uh, Xfinity box just by hitting this power button right here and turn that on. And then I will uh, cycle through to the HDMI 2 so we can continue. Okay, so with my TV set to HDMI 1, you get this initial screen. It's asking you to select your language. In my case, it is English. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, you could select the different options by hitting up and down arrow on your uh, remote. E -E -U -U. And there is voices that comes out. English, US. There you go. And we'll go ahead and hit the center button to uh, select English. Do you want to keep using voice guidance? Voice guidance is a talking guide that reads what's on your screen out loud, including titles, program descriptions, and more. No. So in this case, I don't want to continue to hear her voice, so I will go ahead yes. and, and select no. no. And so we'll go ahead and get rid of her voice, although it's a very pleasant voice. And here it's just checking a few things, so this may take a few minutes. Here it's just downloading the main menu. And here it's just giving you the option of if you want to name uh, the device. In this case, it's just a TV room. Let's see, do we have a TV room here? Um, no, probably a den would work. Actually, I'll do a custom name. TV room. And then just confirm. So I made a custom name selection. Device is uh, successfully named. OK. Just hitting this center button there. That's just optimizing sound. Optimizing for HD. Resolution optimized for HD. Uh, let's see, your screen has been optimized for the best possible resolution. Would you like to keep this setting? In this case, I'll just hit yes. And here it's just act, asking you to activate voice control. Uh, you'll be able to use your voice control to change channels, browse for something to watch, launch apps, or more. And so we'll go ahead and hit OK for that. Again, the center button right there. Your remote is paired with your voice control. Press OK to set the volume, power, and input control for your TV. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. Do you want to use the remote uh, to control your TV power or volume. In this case, we want to hit yes. And here it asks, is your TV made by Samsung? And yes, indeed, this is a Samsung TV. So the Comcast Xfinity was able to identify that. And so I'll just hit yes. And now ready to pair. Okay, so after this, you'll be able to control your Samsung TV power and volume using this remote. Perfect. In the olden days, you used to have to input a code but in this case, it's an automatic process. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. Again, the center button right there. And then confirm pairing was successful. Try using your remote to adjust the volume on your TV. So we'll go ahead. Here's the volume uh, control on your remote right here. So here's the volume control right here on your remote. And so we'll just go ahead and increase up and yes indeed it's working and then down and it seems to be working so we'll go ahead so you have two selections it didn't want work or it does work so we'll hit it worked so if you have an audio receiver which I do do you want to control it with your remote and we might as well say yes we do want that which brand of audio receiver do you want to control? And in this case, it is a Yamaha. So Yamaha, there we go. And we'll hit the center button, pairing remote, ready to pair, okay. 
Okay, did it work? We'll see. Let's see. Uh, in this case, it seems like it's working. You're not seeing this off screen, but I'm looking at my receiver right there. And so, yes, it worked. Being a woman saying that one, it's a comes to check. And there you go. We got some cable going. I'm going to mute it with my new remote. And it looks like just looking at the channel changer. It looks like it will change the channel. I will go ahead, hit the guide button, which is right here. Okay, so the, uh, the new Xfinity box has been connected properly to the TV. The remote's working and we're all set to enjoy some TV. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I'll have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.